Police across the greater Sudbury area are urging motorists to be mindful of school zones as thousands of children head back to school this week. Among those most concerned with road safety are bus drivers handling some pretty precious cargo. It doesn't take long for other road users to get out of their good habits of watching out for us, even though we're big yellow buses, what we hear a lot of is that they didn't see us. They're not looking for the lights. So again, it's getting back into those good habits, not only for our drivers, but for all the other drivers that are out there. Drivers are complacent. They become, you know, they have the same route every morning, um, as well as drivers on the road. They become very complacent because they go to work. Um, they don't pay attention to the school buses all the time and that's when it becomes complacent and when errors are made. A lot of the defensive driving that um, G-Class drivers um, don't follow as the B-Class drivers would um, on a daily basis. Um, our drivers are trained um, professionally um, to be able to watch and predict things that are, are coming out on the road and be able to um, predict situations that may come up, whereas um, regular drivers don't um, have that that knowledge. Officials are warning that drivers who fail to stop can face penalties between $400 to $2,000 and six demerit points for a first offense. The initial lights that they see flashing, this is before our stop arm comes out, um, they gun it and they try to get biased because they know what's about to happen and they know that the law says they must not go past that stop arm. So um, gunning it at that at that point is not a good idea especially if we're picking up in the morning because sometimes kids they'll see those lights and they'll start crossing before they see our stop arm we try to prevent that we talk to the kids about it we talk to moms and dads about it but because that is sometimes uh, their habit we don't want anybody gunning it trying to get by us I know it's it seems like we're a huge inconvenience but really for the seconds that it takes for you to just stop we get ourselves loaded, everybody's safe, then you can get going. So on average, you've got uh, 30 to 35 kids per bus. Some buses can't hold as many as that. Some can can handle twice as much as that every wow. single day. So that's, an, uh, that's a lot of kids. That's a lot of distance that we're doing daily just to make sure that these kids are getting to and from school safely. The Greater Sudbury Police Service will be paying special attention to motorists, cyclists and pedestrians who commit offences in the vicinity of school zones, including offences related to pedestrian crosswalks and intersections. For NorthernLife.ca, I'm Malka Villegas.